hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be doing a face mask this specific face mask is a milk peel off face mask and what this mask is supposed to do is that it's supposed to basically take off everything off of your face such as blackheads unwanted facial hair which i do have a bit i tend to grow a lot of hair on my chin i don't know why that is <laughs> sometimes i make joke like maybe i'm supposed to come out as a male I don't know but I tend to grow a lot of hair on my chin um, sometimes I do have a bit of sideburns a little bit of hair grows here and there and I tend to tweak them I'm gonna be trying this milk face mask that I've been hearing a lot about this face mask is supposed to keep your skin nice and smooth it's supposed to clean all the blackhead unwanted um, unwanted hair off of the face all that nastiness that you don't want this is a diy so this is something that instead of you going to the spa and getting a nice facial this um treatment is supposed to basically clean and keep the skin extremely soft and keep it ongoing and healthy so that's what we're going to be trying today now before you put on any face mask it's very important that you keep your skin extremely clean the surface needs to be really really clean i like to go in and exfoliate and clean my skin i like I like to use my spin for perfect um, spin I've had this for many years this is what I use to basically clean off my makeup keep my skin nice and clean so I use this and what I've been also loving is my Bolden skin um, cleanser this is just my skin um, wash so I just use that to basically exfoliate I've already gone ahead and done that so my skin is nicely clean after I clean my face I like to go in with a um, with a makeup removal wipe so I'm gonna use that to further clean my face Now before we do that, I'm just going to quickly show you the items that we're going to use um, for this really quick and simple facial mask. So you basically need any milk. Um, in my fridge, I had almond milk, so I'm going to be using almond milk. You can definitely use cow milk, that's completely fine, but I have almond milk, so I'm going to be using almond milk. also going to need some gelatin. Gelatin, this gelatin you can get from any um, Walmart grocery store. And also going to need a bowl and a tablespoon for this. So you're going to take one packet of the gelatin and all you need to do is fill up one tablespoon of the gelatin. Then you're going to place that into the bowl. You also need two tablespoons of the almond milk or cow milk, whichever milk that you have is completely fine as long as it's not condensed milk. Any liquid form milk is completely fine. Okay, so once you stir, what I'm noticing is that it's very, very thick. I don't know if you guys can see. But it's like really, really thick. Almost looks like oatmeal, toothpaste, cream. Um, once you have stirred everything up, this is the paste that you're supposed to get. You're going to pop this into the microwave for about 30 seconds. And then you're going to let it cool just a little bit and we're going to apply. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this into the microwave and then I'm going to come. Alright, so I've gone ahead and let it cool down just a little bit. You don't want it to be too, too cold, but you do want it to be... A little warm but not too warm enough that it's going to burn your skin so you have to be very cautious when you're doing this you just want to make sure that it's nice and warm okay so this is how it is I'm gonna wait for it to dry so far I can feel that it's really really sticky it's almost hard for me to move my mouth so we're gonna wait out a little bit till it's completely dry then we're gonna peel it off and see how that goes all right guys so as you can see I cannot even move my face I've left this on for about 30 minutes so it can completely dry I did put a lot on my face. I've ended up putting a lot of layer on my face. I think that's why it took so long to basically um, dry. See, I can't even move my lips. Like when I move, it starts to crack. My face feels extremely tight that I'm almost afraid to remove this mask because I can feel the grip in my skin. Now I did put a thicker layer. So I think that's why it took longer to dry. However, like this, oh my god, I know this is going to hurt. Like, I could feel the tension and the grip on my skin. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove this.
Oh, listen. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh my god, near my eye, my eye is watering. You guys see that? Like right here, it's so sensitive. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. oh my god, look, my eye. shit off. Oh, okay. So it removed dirt. Like I see black head and I see hair. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to zoom in later and show you guys. But let me just finish removing this. I don't know if you guys can see but it sucks that this thing is like transparent so it makes it hard but you can see like the hair it took off like hair from like my face okay so as you can see I've gone ahead and just kind of washed off my face with just water I just basically went ahead and rinsed off my face as you can see it made my skin really really soft I noticed a difference I don't know if the camera is kind of letting you see um, how my skin looks it looks it looks really healthy I really do like um, the peel but it is very painful if you do end up trying it let me know how it works for you do try to do maybe one or two layers I did go ahead and kind of layered and layered and layered it a um, couple times so that could be the reason why one it took so long to dry and two it was so thick that when I was removing it it hurt a lot but you know doing the test itself it does definitely work so if you are going to try it just be very cautious of how much product you're you're actually putting on the face as well as if you have sensitive skin you might want to stay away because you know like as you guys seen it was very very painful but other than that i do love it it's something that i think i am going to try again because i like the way that it was able to kind of remove all the blackhead around my my nose and make my skin feel extremely extremely okay there's one right here extremely extremely soft so, so i hope that you guys found this video helpful if you do try it let me know how it worked for you i love you all so much as per usual and i'll catch you later